Today I want to talk to you about the lens that I use the most with my Fujifilm cameras and why. Hello everyone, my name is Andrei Dima, I am a professional travel photographer and video maker and today I am going to share with you why the Fujifilm XF 33mm f1.4 LMWR is my most used lens. If you follow the channel, you know how much I love the Fujifilm 35mm f1.4, but that lens is not good for video and I need a lens for both photo and video. I also don't like to keep lenses if I don't use them, I rather have someone else enjoy them than gathering dust. This is my go-to lens for street photography when I travel and the lens I test firmware updates with because it has a linear motor. Also it is the lens I record my intro b-roll and the top-down content you see in almost every video, so I use this lens a lot. And that is why I love it so much, it is a very versatile lens. Also this is my favorite focal for documenting daily stuff, photos of family, friends that you will never see on the channel. While this lens has some quirks I talked about in previous videos, it is still the lens that offers the most. Please Fujifilm update the autofocus on this lens to better handle contrasty scenes. Yes, the Viltrox 27mm f1.2 is sharper than this one as you saw in my comparison video, but this lens is sharp enough and in my opinion renders colors better. It is also better for video than the Viltrox. The weather ceiling on this lens is awesome, <laughs> I traveled with this lens in so many locations, humid, dusty, rainy and a lot of sandy beaches and it works perfectly, has no dust inside and surprisingly no scratches so far. If I want something from a next generation of this lens, Mark II let's call it, I want it to be a bit smaller. This is the thing I miss from the 35mm sometimes. The size and weight and the lens hood. Maybe yes, add the square lens hood in the box. In case you haven't subscribed, please do, this helps me grow the channel and make more videos for you to watch. Speaking about the 35mm f1.4, I love the image quality from that lens, but the chromatic aberrations and video autofocus made me choose this one over it for my professional work. The 35mm f1.4 has some really nice characteristics that make it special, but I don't miss them that much with this lens. Maybe the warmer tones, but that can be adjusted in post. The 3D effect the 35mm has from its barrel distortion, the 33mm has it from its pincushion distortion. Yes, they are different, but they are still characteristics that make the lenses different but still create the 3D effect. I rarely shoot wide open during the day with lenses for street photography, but this one is a joy to use. It has a very nice background separation with a smooth transition from in focus to out of focus that makes your subject stand out. The autofocus on this lens is one of the best you can find for the Fujifilm X system. It misses sometimes in very contrasty scenes, but otherwise it is very good for photography and video. Any Fujifilm user would be happy with it. This lens also pairs great with the Fujifilm X-T5 and its 40 megapixel sensor. When I don't review other lenses, this lens and a wider one I will talk about in another video are on my X-T5. While some people prefer the 35mm focal on full frame for street photography, I prefer the 50mm. It takes time to find the focals you like the most and my preferred ones are 24mm for landscape and wider shots and the 50mm for street photography. I don't recommend this focal for beginners, if you are a beginner start with a zoom lens and after a couple of months of using it see what is the focal you use the most, that should be your first prime. What can I say, so far this is my go to and preferred lens on the Fujifilm X system. The image quality is superb, it has its own character and it is sharp enough for anything I want to shoot. You get some nice and crisp images with the X-T5 that don't look clinically sharp and I appreciate that about the lens. Overall it is a great lens, it helped me in a lot of projects and now it has become like a friend that I take with me everywhere I go. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, subscribe. This helps me grow the channel and make more videos for you to watch. See you next time.